Well, guys, Hollywood is continuing to crumble amid the rising issue with pedophilia, with sexual harassment. We have a huge problem in Hollywood right now, and every day it seems like more and more people are being exposed now. And the latest is Kevin Spacey, guys. Okay, Kevin Spacey now. Uh, amid accusations of pedophilia, okay, over sexual advances he made on a 14-year-old fellow actor, guys, 30 years ago, back in 1986, Kevin Spacey has now come out and, and, and said that he's gay, uh, you know, amid these, uh, these accusations, thinking he would, you know, he would be some sort of a hero uh, to the LGBT community while trying to get them to forget about the fact that you sexually uh, harassed uh, and molested even a 14-year-old boy. Here's what went down. Uh, the accusations uh, were claimed by a fellow actor, Anthony Rapp, who said Spacey was made a sex who had made sexual advances on him back in 1986 when Rapp was only 14 years old. Spacey said in a post on Twitter Sunday that he was, quote, beyond horrified to hear that Rapp's story about the encounter, which he said he did not remember uh, and claims that he must have been in some sort of a drunken, uh, you know, stupor or whatever, uh, and says that he has apologized. Uh, he apologizes, you know, profusely for this, and he's beyond horrified. Um, he's offering a sincere apology to Rap for what he said would have been a deeply inappropriate drunken behavior. So he's going to try to blame it on being drunk, whatever. We know what space he's all about now, right? The guy's a scumbag. We know this. Even the liberals, even the extreme far left is coming out and criticizing him, although many like Rosie O'Donnell have come out and slammed him for this, uh, but then she went on to say that they've known about this uh, with him for so long. So why do you wait? Why do you not tell anybody? That's the thing, guys. Hollywood keeps all this stuff a secret because they want to protect their own. They want to keep their pedophilia, and all their sexual harassment, rape, and everything like that, all, all that junk. They want to keep it within their close-knit circle. And they don't want to say anything to anybody, okay? It's absolutely despicable. In an interview, Rapp had described attending a party hosted by Spacey in which the actor picked him up, brought him over to a bed, and laid on top of him after the guests had left and went to make sexual advances against him. Rapp, who said that he had the impression that Spacey was drunk, he ended up pushing him away and left. Spacey, who has won Oscars, as we know, for all of these movies uh, that he has done. I mean, he's tarnished. Let's face it, the guy is going to be tarnished now. Uh, he says this, Dave Spacey said this, quote, I have loved and had romantic encounters with men throughout my life, and I now choose to live my life as a gay man. <sighs> well, guys, Rap, who went on to star in the Broadway musical Rent, was starting his career on Broadway at the time of the incident when this occurred back in the 80s. Rap further went on to say here that, quote, he was trying to seduce me, he said in the interview, and that I don't know if I would have used that language, but I was aware that he was trying to get with me sexually. Um, so, guys, I mean, this is just not a good thing. It's not a good thing at all. Uh, we have such a, a, a sick sexual predator mentality in Hollywood right now, like I said. But you know what? God's exposing it, and everything is being brought out now. Everything is being brought out to the light. Just like in Hollywood and now in the political side of things too, all the dirt, all the junk, all the slime, all the sleaze is coming out and all these corrupt politicians like Hillary Clinton, the DNC, everything going on with the Uranium One scandal with the Russians, the real Russian collusion story with Hillary and her cronies, Jim Comey, special counsel Robert Mueller. It never ends. But God, like I said, guys, he's bringing this all out into the open and people are seeing what Hollywood's all about what the government is all about, and it's not a good thing, but it's being exposed, and that's a good thing because it needs to come out. Guys, I will continue here to keep you up to speed on all the latest breaking news, prophecy headlines, and current world events going on all over the world. For those watching this video right now, I can tell you this. We're living in the last days. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. If you don't know him as your Lord and Savior today, if you would like to, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior today. You can be born again, forgiven of all of your sins. You can come into the kingdom of God today where you'll have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity. There's no greater decision, none, that you're ever going to make than to give your life to Christ. You can also email me directly, cardsfan480 at gmail.com. I'll put my email below in the description. You guys can access it from there. 
Also, if you have any prayer requests, feel free to send those my way as well. I love to pray for you guys, whatever your need might be today. All right, guys, I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.